Hello future me. Uh, I want to do a video today on the Ipsy Glam Bad for February 2020. Uh, this is what the bad looks like this month. It's like, like this velvety material and it's like this pink color and I think it's really cute but um, they're starting to make the bads like differently I guess because there's like this little hook thing on the keep, I don't know what this is called, on the zipper pull and it has a hole in it. I don't know if you, you can't, you probably can't tell it, but I have the Red Alert Lamb Bad, the Ultimate, and my mom has Plus, and all of them have like a little hole in it. And my Plus actually came broken, so, and my dad had to fix it, like he had to, like, and it's fine. But one of the reasons I can't quit Ipsy is because I really like the stupid bads, so I, I would have had to contact them because my bad was broken and I would feel stupid about it so I'm glad he was able to fix it for now but I hope they don't continue doing this because I feel like they just break a lot easier so so Ipsy is a t uh, $12 a month subscription box where you get five sample size items or like smaller items but sometimes they'll like put in a like something that's technically full size but they're considering it like as one of your sample size products so and they give you a card that should tell you all the products that you get as well as now they're telling you if they're a deluxe sample or if they're full size and they're telling you the retail value of the full size so sometimes they don't give the card which sucks but they did this month for me on my red alert lamb bag sorry if you could hear my neighbors they're, they like to have conversations right outside my window so excuse them if you could hear them they're like laughing and stuff I don't know um first of all I want I want to talk about this thing that my mom got on her plus but we traded so I end up having it and you could also add this product on for either $12 or $18 but I want to mention it real quick because I got it this is a product that I was actually considering buying from like a bundle actually like full price so I'm happy to be able to get it but for some reason, I don't think everyone had this problem, but for me, these like shades all smell like really bad. They smell like vile. Um, like if you smell this one, it smells fine. Like, but like the closer you get to here, the worse it starts to smell. So I've contacted Ipsy about that. Well, through my mom's account because she got this in her box. It wouldn't make sense if I contacted through my account. So um. They're saying they're sending a new one. Uh, I don't think they've sent it yet, but I usually have pretty decent luck with um, IFC customer service, believe it or not. Um, but I think it will be fine. But let, if you have one, if anyone else out there has one, um, and you got it from IFC, can you tell me if it stinks or not? Because mine, mine smells really bad. <laughs> it's like, my sister says it kind of smells like cat pee, which is worrisome but I don't I doubt that's actually what it is it just it kind of smells like the other shadows but like the nastiness of the smell is like enhanced by like 800% or something but I just want to mention that real quick okay next up I want to talk about uh the products that I added on but you could get in your red alert uh ipsy this month I just added them on for three dollars because I didn't actually get them in my red alert bag first of all I got this Auto Bomb Girl Powder blush in the shade, I think it's called Houston Street, but it's, I don't know if that's what the shade is called. It says it right up here. Can you see that? It's kind of like a peachy pink blush, and it's really light, and I really like the Balm products. And I technically do have a blush from them in like a face palette, but that one's kind of sheer, and it's like a weird color, so I'm glad to have this. And I used it today and it looks pretty good. I just, I don't know if you could tell because it's so bright, but I like it. And next up, um, I got this Moda Pro Accentuate brush, uh, BMX 255 brush. And I really like Moda Pro brushes, so when I, whenever there's one that I don't have available to add on, I get it. And I only, this was only cost me $3, so. It was worth it and I use it today and I really like it. I actually like it better than my other highlighter brushes because it's like a familiar shape that's easy to work with but it's more 
efficient so I could use it for like multiple places and have an easier time using it so so the first item that I actually got in my bag is this Murad Ooh. Oh, I dropped the bra I always do that um this Murad resurgence renewing eye cream which okay you see the you see the bots this is the product it's like so tiny you see that um and I've actually tried this eye cream before because I got it in a Fat Fit Fun box, um, like an editor's box before, and I've been using it, and it's been the only eye cream that I have recently. So, and I, it doesn't really do anything that I noticed, and I can't really tell if it's given me milia or if I just have that for another reason. But I don't know. I I'm not that interested. I am interested to try this sample only because I'm worried that the reason that one doesn't really do anything is because I got from Fat Fit Fun. Because, I don't know, sometimes their products like, they come and they're like dusty. I just want to make sure that it is the product itself and not just because I got it from Fat Fun. And also, when I'm using that one, I like, it has like little little chunks in it sometimes that's weird. So, um, I'm not too excited about this product. It, it's not a very exciting product anyway, but considering I've already tried it and don't really like it that much. It's not, I'm, I'm not happy about it really. So, this product is obviously a sample size and it's four milliliters the full size is 50 milliliters and it costs 82 dollars which i do not recommend it for that price at all so unless the sample works for some reason but based on the one i got from fat fat fun i would not recommend it especially not for 82 i couldn't recommend that eye cream for 82 dollars at all anyway unless it like completely let you put it on and your wrinkles are just gone yeah, that's very pricey for an eye cream, so. Okay, so the next product I got is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer Plus Oil, uh, Primer, and it's oil-free. Uh, the reason I'm not showing you it right now is because I misplaced it. I have no idea where it is, and I'm upset about that. And I kind of completely forgot I had it until I saw it on this little card, but I know I got it because I remember seeing it when I actually got the bag, so that's my bad. Um... I don't know how big the sample is, it wasn't that big, and um, the full size version is 30 milliliters for $39, and I've heard really good things about IT Cosmetics, especially like their skin stuff, so it's probably going to be good, I just, I don't know where it is, so, and also, I have primers on rarely, so, eh, but I haven't tried it yet, obviously. Okay, the next product I got here is this Pure Love Your Selfie foundation in Ellen 2 Fair Ivory and I chose this item because um, I've heard really good things about this foundation and Ipsy likes to always give neutral shades as an option because they think that I guess they think that will work for everyone but um, according to foundation.com this is basically a cool version of the highlighter that I mean not the highlighter of the foundation shade that I would be so like this is LN2 and my shade would be LC2. So I decided that's close enough and I wanted to try it. And it is a little bit yellow on me, but it's harder to tell with the rest of my makeup on. And it's fine. Um, I still need to try it out. The only other foundation I've really been using is like, I hate it. It like cleans all my texture. And this one kind of cleans to texture a little bit over here. I did powder my entire face and that seemed to actually help the texture, believe it or not. But um. It's okay, I still need to use it some more. Um, this is obviously a sample size. Um, this is... I don't know how many milliliters this is. But the full size is 30 milliliters and it retails for $36. So I have, tr I'm, I have skin issues so foundations don't tend to work for me that well. But... It's better than the one I currently have, that's for sure, which is the ColourPop one, so. Okay, so the next product I got is actually a full-size item. It's the KVOS NYC Fairy Dust Priced Highlighter. And it retails for $28. Um, it's, in, it's in the shade Moonlight. And it's actually a really good highlighter. I probably wouldn't spend $28 on it, though. Um, it's like a really light and I'm using it today and in my inner corner. Um, 
and I really like it, so I'll be using that a lot probably. I I always get I get a ton of highlighters from Ipsy, but I always not well not always. I usually really like them, so this is no exception to that. Uh, I I don't think I would recommend this for twenty eight dollars, but I really like it. Okay, so I went uh well we went somewhere for a little while. Oh, my light's not on. Hold on. <laughs> We went somewhere for a while. Wow, this is bright. Okay, so, uh, I went somewhere in the car for a while, and I found my primer. Um, it was in the eye cream box, that's why I couldn't find it. And I didn't use it because I forgot I had it, but, um, in the car, I was in, like, the sun, I was looking at my highlighter. And I actually really like it a lot, so I'll probably use it a lot more. But I don't, I can't see myself uh, spending $28 on a primer anyway. I mean, not primer, a uh, highlighter anyway. But if you're the type of person to spend $28 on a highlighter, you might want to give this one a chance. You probably won't have to, you'd probably get it from like Ipsy for cheaper in like some of the upcoming months. But I've I like this a lot. It's really pretty. It's hard to tell, kinda. I can't see it in the camera as much. But you can kinda see it in the camera. Okay, so, the last item in my box, so I'm gonna go and reach it, is this IBI, IBY Beauty City Limits Lush Eyeshadow in the shade Headliner, and this is the box. Ooh. And, This is what the shadow case looks like. Ooh, almost broke it. And this is the eyeshadow, and I'm wearing it today on like the outer corners of my eyes. And I do like it, but for some reason it was hard to blend on this side and this side. I don't know what that's about. And it's usually not that I, I don't gravitate to single eyeshadows, but um, I think this is a pretty good quality one from what I've tried uh, today. So. And I never tried this brand before, but I have seen them. I don't think I've tried this brand before. Um, I probably won't gravitate to, towards this because it's a single eyeshadow, but I think for my single eyeshadows, if I were to use them, that might be one. It's not a color, since it's kind of dark, it's not a color that I would use all the time, but I really like what I did with it today. The rest of my eyeshadow is uh, from this Winky Lutz Coffee Palette. In case you were wondering. So, I'm gonna drop something. I told you. <laughs> There's just a bunch of boxes. So, all in all, um, this isn't wasn't the most exciting box to ever get, but I am surprised by the stuff I do like. Like, I didn't think I would like this highlighter that much. The eyeshadow was pretty good, and it wasn't too dark on me. I'm glad I get to try the foundation, but uh, it does seem a little dark, but when I put the rest of my makeup on, I don't think you can really tell. This seems boring, but I haven't tried it, and this is probably my least favorite item because it's boring, and I've tried it before, and I don't think I like it, so. But, you know, I'm pretty alright with the stuff I got, and I like my add-ons, so that's good. So, I have nothing left to talk about, so bye.